Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Aisha Juman. I'm the president and founder of Yemen Relief and Reconstruction Foundation. I wanted to start my presentation to show you how beautiful Yemen is. This is where I grew up, and it's a World Heritage Site uh, as well. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. So that's not what you get to hear about Yemen right now. This is what you get to hear about Yemen right now. So a war that started in 2015 has been devastated and caused a lot of death and destruction. And I want to point to this picture with the big bomb there. That's actually my parents' neighborhood. In addition to the death and destruction by airstrikes, Yemen also has restricted uh, imports of goods, essential goods, including fuel. This is from 2019, and it shows that most of the time, about 20 to 35 percent of what Yemen needs in fuel is able to get into the country. What does that mean? That means then we have crisis for new water, and we also have crisis in health. And this is a tweet by UNICEF from 2017, basically saying people, because they don't have access to clean water, are you know, being forced to drink and save water. So when you drink and save water, this happens. Yemen has the largest cholera, with over 2 million suspected cases. And we have about 18 uh, million people in Yemen today who have no access to clean water. The Hodeida governorate, where we're going to be working, has the highest uh, cholera cases. This is our team. Um, as I said, I actually do work in Yemen. Uh, I manage health projects uh, since 2010, and I established the field epidemiology training program in Yemen under these circumstances. <clears throat> Alex Hattoum is the person who developed our technology. And then we also have Tawfiq, who is the head uh, engineer in Hadeida, where we're going to be working. So what is our system? It's a water purification and renewable energy system. What does it do? It provides clean water. It's 100% solar powered, so we don't need fuel for that. And it also, we had to redesign it for desalination. When I was in Hadeida this summer, I realized that the water there is actually salty, and people don't drink it. They buy uh, their drinking water. So we redesigned our system for that. And it also will provide so solar power for the hospitals. So for our plan for Hadeida is to install the system in one, uh, three hospitals. One is the busiest and the largest. One is a rural area, and one in their served area. We were going to start with one in the biggest uh, hospital, see how it works in Yemen, in the Yemen context, and if we need to redesign, we will go back and redesign. And the water will be accessible to the neighbors and also to the patients. This is another project we did, but this is what I want to happen in Yemen. Kids and families to have clean water. So what have we done so far? We uh, selected, we got approval from the Ministry of Health, and we also got approval from the local and regional offices. We also selected the hospitals. I was in Yemen this summer, and I visited all the three hospitals where we're going to be working. We also selected the engineers that we're going to be working with, because Alex cannot go to Yemen, as Chris mentioned earlier. So we're going to take our engineers to somewhere else where they will be trained, and then they need to go back to Yemen and install the system, and they will be responsible for its maintenance. And finally, as I said, we redesigned the system for the water hardness. So what is the impact that we expect from this project? We expect that we're going to have clean water. We also expect that we're going to reduce the rate of cholera and other uh, diseases that are waterborne. We also hope to reduce the rate of malnutrition. The rate of malnutrition is quite high, actually, because, and that is due to diarrheal diseases. And at the very end, our goal is to reduce morbidity and mortality in Yemen. So move, moving forward, uh, IHS, which is the company that we're working with in developing this system, has already used this system in Puerto Rico and in Mexico. We now are going to be using it in Yemen as well. And uh, our ask is that if it works the way we expect it, we would like help in scaling it up for uh, the health services in Yemen. Our goal at the very end of it 
is to not be responsible for this. We want communities to use the system and to use it to make money. So we would like you women, if we give them um, a set, the system, we want them to use it and sell water to the community. So our goal at the very end is not to continue this work, but to transfer it to, to uh, the local community. And we're starting that way. We're starting with the local community, installing it and doing everything on their own. And thank you.